can I see some ID? Whenever I get asked that question, I automatically hand the person my driver's license. It's a simple way to identify myself. Similarly, on every piece of network hardware, a media access control, MAC address, is attached. This is a unique number used to identify a specific piece of equipment. On Cisco Business Wireless, CBW, access points, there is a feature where you can either allow or block clients based on their MAC address. This is called MAC filtering. It's like having a security guard, checking the ID before allowing or denying entry to your wireless local area network, your WLAN. Any devices not on the allow list will be blocked. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure a list of authorized devices using MAC filtering on CBW access points. Next. To get started, log into your CBW AP and navigate to Wireless Settings and then WLANs. Here, you'll see a list of your current WLANs. In this example, I'll edit one of my current WLANs to enable MAC filtering. Start by clicking the Edit icon next to the WLAN and then click Yes in the pop-up window. Once that's done, go to the WLAN Security tab and enable MAC filtering by sliding the toggle next to it. After that, click Apply to save the change. Next, you need to create a list of allowed MAC addresses. To do this, navigate to WLAN Users in the menu and go to the Local MAC Addresses tab. To add clients, click on Add MAC Address. Here, enter the MAC address of your client that you want to allow access to the WLAN. Enter a description in the next line. You have two options to choose from a block list or an allow list. If you want to create a list of blocked MAC addresses, you must select the type as block list. The AP will then block this MAC address and allow all other MAC addresses on the WLAN. Keep in mind, block listing a client or mesh extender that is currently joined to the network will not take effect until it attempts to rejoin the network after a disconnect or reboot. Alternatively, you can choose the Allow List option to permit clients onto the WLAN. For this example, I'm going to create an Allow List and define all the clients that I want to allow on this WLAN and block all other clients. It's important to note, the Allow List will be applied to all WLANs that have MAC filtering enabled. Once you're done, click Apply. Another feature under Local MAC Addresses is the ability to search for a particular device. To do this, type the MAC address in the search bar and the device will be displayed. You can then quickly edit the device from here. This is useful if you have a long list of MAC addresses. You can also import a long list of MAC addresses all at once by clicking the import arrow on the screen. Click choose file to locate the file. Open the file and click yes. Similarly, to export the MAC addresses, click the export arrow and the file with the MAC addresses will get downloaded to your PC. You can always add more devices to your allow or block list as your needs change. That's all there is to it. Your network is more secure as you have detailed control of who can access it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.